it peeps all right uh yeah some cool shit in the background here we've got all the airbrushing done and just been a uh, quick clear cut over top thank you very much to steve yeah so it's uh come up awesome and just a small little flame job just in a while i didn't want anything too too stupid just to you know just to fill up the sides there so that's come up well so yeah they're all on. i just gotta bolt them on uh just on the inside here just quickly give them a couple little bolts we've got it um uh bolted actually to the plastics themselves but uh yeah the side pods are not there top ones are all done front ones are on yeah so much of the exhaust now that's what i've got going here so here we've got the exhaust i've got the the bung world on bung um to clean it up i just painted this with everything i've been waiting on this for a while actually i don't know why the hell it took so bloody long um so o2 bung and uh pop it in there and we'll give that a quick weld uh so that we can quickly wrap up the exhaust i don't need to wrap any all the exhaust up but i just want to um make it uh, as cool as possible so you get the heat keep the heat in the exhaust and uh yeah away from me that's all so yeah so let's get to uh welding this up all right peeps we've got the exhaust done turned out bloody awesome all wrapped trying to keep the heat down as much as possible uh next is probably just to quickly get this um uh heat shield done as well while i'm at it uh, but uh yeah everything's looking pretty nice and neat with the uh, the exhaust got the O2 sensor bung in and um, yeah that'll go to my uh, uh, wide band so be able to tune it yeah so it's only a short little exhaust but uh, it'll make do so uh, yeah so at the moment I'm waiting on just a couple little bits and pieces but uh, we are very close but as you can see over there that used to be the parts, they're all gone. So that's literally everything. Um, yeah, so I can't, uh, I can't make these parts come any faster than they're, they're coming. So um, there's a couple more things I can do. I need to do the oil drain still really quickly and um, uh, uh, water as well. I need to get the dash 12 water and dash, dash eight for the fuel um and that is the only things i can do uh waiting on fuel rail so i can't go anymore on the fuel and um yeah and i'll obviously um and i don't want to just hook up the vacuum lines just roughly i want the boost controller to come i uh, boost solenoid sorry the mac valve um just so that i can hook up everything all at once yeah so this is the how we're looking at the moment boys everything's looking um pretty uh pretty nasty and neat yeah i hope you guys enjoy and uh yeah i'll give you a quick update to uh, hopefully next day or so all right peeps we got some parts and pieces uh let's go have a look all right so we got some new bolts for the seat mounts Thanks very much to Jordan at uh, Jordan Factory Carts. Um, got a couple of um, Dash 8s there for the feed. Uh, Dash 12s are on order at the moment. Um, so they'll be here this week. And one meter of uh, Dash 8 line. That's all I need for the feed. Uh, also got some carpet, just a roll of carpet. I'm gonna try to wrap the seat. Just to make it look um, pretty special. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Let's get these things done, eh? So the easiest way of these ones, they're just so simple to use. Um, obviously just fitting, goes in like that. Yeah, it's just so simple. So yeah, let's get one on. Just gotta get it onto that one. 
down there. So yeah, a little bit of a shoot. Alright, as you can see in there, I've got it done. Got the fitting off. On there, sorry. Running down with the uh, return line. All the way down, all the way down. Misses all the steering, which is good. All nice and done and hooked up into the fuel pump. So that's the dash eight, and then obviously they always do want a um, a bigger a bigger in than out coming into the 044s because they're not a suction pump. They're only once it's there they love to push it. So yeah, so dash six on the other side, and that's plenty enough fuel for the for what we are going after. So that all looks pretty good. Um, just going to tackle a couple more bolts up here and I could pop them on and we're going to get onto the seat. Alright peeps, what a pain in the ass that was. But uh, yeah, we managed to get it. I just got to nip up the sides a little bit, but we've got them all pretty good. I just got to get a little bit more glue, ran out of the quick grip. Uh, works, works really nice. I just made two sides and then just a the center. I didn't want anything too special, but um, yeah, looks pretty neat now, and uh, it should be a lot more comfortable now. Um, but uh, yeah, come out well. Let's get her in, eh? All right, peeps, calling it a night. Uh, got the seat in. Got all new, the hardware, all in there. It all looks nice and neat. Definitely makes it look so much better. Um, yes, yeah, so I am waiting on the lines tomorrow uh, for the. Um, radiator there so tomorrow if that comes or if not I'll get uh, the heat shield done and also the line uh, the line there um, yeah so the biggest thing is really waiting on this fuel rail so I'm hoping it comes very soon uh, because yeah it's ready to go um, yeah let us know what you think guys um, I'm pretty chuffed with it pretty chuffed with airbrushed pretty chuffed with how everything's come up uh, yeah thanks very much for everyone that's helped so far really appreciate it and um, yeah soon we'll get the laptop out and uh, make a little map up for it and get this thing um, started eh? all right I'll leave to it guys later hey peeps uh, yeah welcome back let's have a look what we've got going on eh so uh, we've made up the uh, heat shield here um, this is the double hour this is off a um, off a Honda um, of exhaust manifold heat shield and uh, I've just bent it up and uh, re-creased it on the bottom just to give it a bit more strength on the bottom because I've had to cut it and because um, it is double layer so to join them back together I've re-creased it on the bottom um, painted it up and uh, yeah I think that uh, it should be all right We'll see how it goes. If not, I'll uh, make up something else a bit later to go a little bit further down on the seat because it um, it will be hitting, uh, it will be uh, getting a bit of heat on the seat as well. So we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, that's not too much of a biggie. But uh, yeah, that's uh, how it's looking at the moment. It's um, it's getting there. I uh, yeah can't do any more until more parts come. That's all. Uh, so yeah, the dash 12s will be here first thing tomorrow um, to do, and uh, I'll be able to hook up the water, so I'll be able to put some water into it, and uh, the waiting on the fuel, waiting on the fuel rail, and also uh, the boost solenoids, the Mac valve. So once they all come, that's it. That's it. it's ready to rock and roll. Um, yeah, so. That's pretty much how it's looking. Everything else is hooked up, everything else works. Uh, yeah, I can't think of any more else things to do. I'm just gonna clean, I wanna clean up wiring, but uh, I just wanna make sure when it's running, do when it's running, because uh, might be a couple of things I need to change when it's actually uh, probably running for a bit. There might be something else I need to actually uh, change up. Um, yeah, and everything else is all, all pretty good. The uh, oil drains all done so that goes down into the bottom of the sump there into there and uh, yep that's uh, it's all a goer so uh, first things first is when this thing gets uh, running 
we'll uh, get it onto some pretty some 98 and uh, we'll go from uh, go from there go probably E85 after it's running and um, yeah if it's running pretty good then we'll switch over to a bit of methanol I'm pretty happy with everything so far uh, if uh, yeah these things can hurry up and come um, yeah we'll get this thing running pretty quick uh, next one definitely I'll uh, be opening up the laptop getting a uh, base map tune done and uh, yeah get this thing um, hopefully fired up uh, I want to know your uh, uh, horsepower figures of what uh, you reckon it uh, will be able to do uh, so motor from factory is around about I think it's the this is the first gen I think this is a 177 horsepower engine um, and uh, plus around about the 15 pound of boost uh, so it is a GT40 turbo uh, T4 flange um, yeah it's a uh, 1 0 rear and uh, yeah hopefully on the well, E85 to methanol will uh, pick up a bit of power as well and um, yeah hopefully everything's uh, pretty good after that um, so I'm hoping everything else is pretty good. So there's a couple of things I want to do a bit later on. Uh, probably a, um, a line locker. Um, and um, obviously I'll hook up a bit of anti-lag to it as well. Uh, yeah, just a couple of little bit, bits and pieces. Um, obviously uh, hook up uh, boost by gear. And uh, yeah, I've got to just go get the, uh, the gear selector working as well um, on, the, on the dash itself. Uh, if I reckon I could do those bits and pieces, then uh, I'll be pretty happy. Um, yeah, so uh, just let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with everything, how it's turned out so far. And um, yeah, the uh, airbrushing, I'm um, absolutely adoring it. So, uh, yeah, I can definitely say I had a pretty good idea. It was my idea, but... Um, Mr. Steve um, absolutely smashed it out, so uh, thanks very much Steve, I appreciate that mate. And the flames, oh, I wasn't not, not a fan of the flames, but um, yeah he thought to, to just a little bit of a white white flame each there would uh, go really well. Not too much, a bit subtle there, but I think um, that's all it needs really. And um, yeah, it should be sweet. Alright peeps, uh, we'll leave it there, uh, yeah just let us know, uh, give us a comment, see what you uh, guys are thinking and um, yeah, I'll get back to you, see you later.